another Tuesday hike done. Or is it Wednesday? It's Tuesday. Lebanon Creek. It was a steep one, I gotta say. Very nice views. And now I uh, just have to get down without breaking any knees. So I have two of them. If I break one, I have the other one. Almost April, which means the bears should be awake by now. On the other side there, I don't know if you can see, it is a nature conservatory. Lots of big bears and bobcats, cougars, snakes, porcupines. I'm running away. There's lots of cool signs explaining about how it used to be uh, when, you know, only the indigenous people lived here. Because it's so hilly and there's so many little hilltops, they would use them to communicate over the lake. And they would light fires on, on the different hills and send messages that way. It's pretty cool. Hiking on these hills was apparently like a trial for young people. They would have to go alone, just survive. Also gather a lot of like, you know, medicinal plants and stuff like that. Very nice views, I gotta say. Actually shows you how Kelowna is big. It has like five skyscrapers, but it does stretch out. Now it is the third most expensive city in Canada, apparently. Studies say, who listens to studies anymore? I do my own research. these houses are like a million a piece it's nice that people got into the market on time but for a lot of people it's uh, too late I kind of expect things to go uh, bad in terms of real estate not that it's gonna crash but more so because people can't really afford to live anymore I'm not saying me like I can afford my rent and I can afford food but there is like a lot of people living from paycheck to paycheck and not being able to afford food. Now with uh, all the prices going up, the real estate price is going up, rent is going up, and especially because the interest rates are going up. So all those loans and credit lines and everything people have is now uh, even more expensive. It is uh, kind of scary seeing the amount of calls of people just not being able to save anything. So like I try to budget for food for example. When I shop I try not to spend more than $100 per week for food which for me and you know for the time I have Louis is pretty pretty good pretty good amount and I can eat relatively healthy but uh, I'm thinking a lot with a lot of people who have like families of four and they have to budget on even less than that like $50 per week or something like that and they have to eat unhealthy you know, it has to be frozen food, like cheap, low quality. When you think of those loans and everything, you, it's a little bit more expensive. That cuts their food budget for actually so much if they have like a car loan or something like that. Anyway, I think we work too much and get too little for a reward. Not like reward, reward, but you know, some things like basic human needs, like shelter, food, water. That should be, in my opinion, that should be free because you are born on this world and you depend on you know having good people taking care of you and sometimes you maybe don't sometimes you're born in a very bad part of the world and sometimes you're born very lucky so there's just luck to it that where you end up living we take a lot of things for granted i know i'm in like the probably the top 10 percent of how people live in the world so i really do think all of those things should be free shelter some basic food, water, all of that should be free. And if you don't think so, you're not a good person. So I really am in favor of, you know, taxing the rich a little bit more. People who... Okay, so that was either a 
very big bee or a uh, small hornet. <laughs> I didn't see those for a long time, so I kind of got spooked. People who, for instance, own more than 10 properties. Why? Why do you need it? And those people are often the loudest saying, you know what, if young people want to afford to buy a house, they should do this and this. They should stop uh, subscribing to Netflix and Spotify and all that stuff. And then they have like a hundred properties. And I'm not like over exaggerating. There are a lot of people who have that many. They're the ones who are increasing the prices by buying so much real estate for investments, not for the actual human need of living in it. We have so many empty houses and condos. So uh, to me, like it's, it's mind blowing that it's okay being in this world where there's more empty homes in the US than there is homeless people. Like how is that normal? How do you, how do you come to this point of humanity? <laughs> That's like, oh well, some people just did better in life. I'm worried for Louis and I'm worried for all the younger kids now pretty bleak situation in my opinion like i don't know what's gonna happen next is it gonna be a nuclear war or is it gonna be a revolution because people can't afford you know freaking food at the end our generation is gonna get blamed for a lot of things that's happening climate change they're teaching you to recycle and it's our responsibility to fix it and save it by having these little different trash cans and collecting garbage in different colors a lot of the time it goes to the same place uh, because it's not properly recycled and now every company has like a green initiative what's their plan by 2050 you know less emissions uh, no carbon footprint they really can't change their process that much like they can but they won't because they will not be profitable all these companies had record profits the inflation went up crazy the wages didn't go up that much so that means that they could have increased the wages because they had the record profits, but they didn't. So uh, yeah, there's always things that these huge companies can do, but they won't. Now I'm finished with my rant and I'm done complaining now. So I can enjoy the rest of the walk down and not fall. Anyway, to switch the subject a little bit, Louis has this thing where he goes into my room to kind of have a nap but not have a nap he just wants a little bit of quiet time so he just goes onto my bed and just lies down there closes the door and everything but i have a I have a place where i keep all, a lot of electronics that i don't use that often sometimes I, I leave the gopro there he he always goes there and he opens the drawer and he gets out the gopro and he turns it on and he doesn't know that he turns it on but he films himself i am excited to show you louis first video Maybe he will like uh, filming. That was my complaining for the week. I'm not allowed to do it anymore until next week. See you in the next video.